data breaches have been on the rise and they're going to keep happening more and more, especially nowadays with this democratization of AI. Companies need to do everything that they can in order to protect their sensitive information. So who can help with that? We get cybersecurity professionals. You can see the demand increasing, but how can you take advantage of it? How can you get a job in the field? The beautiful thing here is that you can have a variety of job options to choose from. For example, as a cybersecurity analyst, you can expect to earn around 100k per year. Also, if you choose to become an IT security analyst, you're going to earn around the same. So, these jobs can get you a six-figure salary, meaning that the time invested in getting certified is definitely worth it. Because the main way to stay up to date with where the job market is going is to adapt and learn things fast. To be honest, professional certificates are one of the best ways to do this nowadays because you can be job ready in months rather than years. Because you don't want to be stuck in a position where the market evolved and changed by the time you actually got to finish your degree. That's why if you want to pursue a career in cybersecurity, Google's Cybersecurity Professional Certificate on Coursera is one of the best options to get started. With this certificate, you can get the foundational skills that you need to be job ready. Now, before we go through it, let's clarify one thing. Does getting the Cybersecurity Professional Certificate guarantee a job in cybersecurity? To be honest, for most people, this certificate alone, without any other effort on their part, might not actually land them that job. However, this is a foundational certificate and it will help you get there. You can prepare you for other certifications like the CompTIA Security Plus exam, which can boost your job prospects even further. Not only this, but the certificate offers access to a private job board with more than 150 companies that are hiring for these positions. It also helps you optimize your CV and your portfolio. It teaches you the skills that companies are actively looking for and you get support with your job search. So you're not just getting the technical training, but you also get support from a great community. Now, having said this, let's go through the curriculum and see what we get for the $49 a month that we spend. The first course is Foundations of Cybersecurity. This course covers all of the core skills and knowledge that you need in order to start your journey in this field. It's introductory, so you're going to get through it relatively quickly. It's well organized, it's easy to learn from, and a great introduction overall. The second course will teach you how to identify the primary threats, the risks, and the vulnerabilities in business operations. In particular, you're going to learn about the commonly used tools and how entry-level security analysts use them in their day-to-day -day work. From the third course, things start to get a little bit more interesting and practical because here you're going to explore network protocols and you're going to learn about common security measures like firewalls that actually help network operations remain safe. You're going to learn about the types of network attacks and techniques that are used to secure compromised networks and I think this course offers many many activities to build a portfolio but you need to take your time with it as there's a lot of information to cover here. The fourth course focuses on Linux and SQL. Here we get practical and it's an introduction to computing skills that are essential for cybersecurity analysts. You're going to practice using the Linux command line with Bash and you're going to use SQL to retrieve information, to apply filters and join tables. And I like this course, I think the labs are really really nice and you get a great introduction to some of the most important tasks that you're going to be performing. In the fifth course, you're going to learn about how to classify assets, how to identify risks and vulnerabilities, and understand common threats such as social engineering, malware, and web-based exploits. And I think it has great explanations and there's extensive information that was provided. And I think this type of delivery is great because I'm always up to get more information rather than less. So just as with the previous courses, you got to take your time to understand all of these topics and definitely use external resources like ChatGPT where you actually feel that you need to break things down even further. The sixth course is a deep dive into incident detection and response. And you're going to learn about network analysis tools and you're going to analyze suspicious file hashes and a whole lot more, right? It really felt very detailed to me and I saw others that felt the same way based on the reviews that I read. But always keep in mind that what's detailed for some might not be the same for others. Because depending on where you are on your cybersecurity knowledge spectrum, you're going to have different opinions. Now the seventh course is all about Python and how you can use Python to automate cybersecurity tasks. The course covers foundational Python topics and it's a great introduction, especially for complete beginners. But where it stands out is the hands-on approach that I particularly liked. And now we're finally at the end of the series with the eighth course and this focuses on making decisions and how to escalate incidents to stakeholders. It helps you develop the communication and the collaboration skills that you need in order to navigate discussions with the stakeholders in your organization. This course also covers how to find and apply for jobs in the field and how to prepare for interviews. And now that we went through all of the courses, is the Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificate on Coursera worth it? 
I think it's definitely worth it because for the monthly cost you get a lot of information and you can simply start with a 7 day free trial where you can check out the courses and then you can make an informed decision. But going through all of the courses, doing some extra work, doing some extra research on the side and finally getting that certificate will definitely help you get a job in this field. Again you have to put in the work and you have to promote yourself as well as you can in order to get that job but this will give you the confidence boost that you actually need to put yourself out there. As I partnered with Coursera, I put a link down in the description to the certificate. So if you want to support this channel, use that link if you're considering taking the cybersecurity certificate. I hope that this was helpful and as always, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more content like this.